Hi lovelies, I'm back with another video. So we're gonna stay on that mental health tip, right? Um, to kind of brush up on things that I want to bring awareness to because I feel like we don't have enough light shed on these topics. So for me, when it comes to being in relationships, right? I don't know about you guys, but I tend to devote my entire being to whoever I'm with, okay? So I'll dedicate my entire self to them, right? So because of that, it obviously takes a toll. So it's important to know your limits, right? Your boundaries, your likes and dislikes, We've talked about all this kind of stuff. Um, but more importantly, knowing when to say no, right? So if you are a people pleaser, right? That's harder for us to sit there and um, say no to somebody. Because we're so used to doing for others because that's in our nature, right? But look, let me tell you. It can get bad because if, um, hold on, I hope my earring's not interfering with the mic. Eee. Um, if you're used to saying yes to everything, right, and then in the back of your head, you don't agree with something, but you still say yes, you're now losing your voice, your say, right? That's one way. Another way is, let's say you're with somebody and you're sharing, you know, whatever you feel about something and they tell you, are you sure? Are you sure that's what you think? Is, is that really what you mean? So then it makes you have self-doubt. That, my friends, is my focus today is wanting to make sure you guys don't allow anyone to make you have self-doubt, okay? Because... Within ourselves, we already deal with it, right? But if someone else is contributing to that and making that worse for you, girl, it's time to go. It's time, it's time. Because let me tell you, from my own experience, okay? Obviously, when we're young, we're pretty dumb. We think we know everything or whatever, right? But truth of the matter is, we are getting to know the world and we don't know that there's evil out there. It's out there. Um, and so we are just going with the flow, right? So I was, I think, 19. I was around 19 years old. And I got with someone who was older than me, right? And I don't know. I don't I honestly don't know how it happened, but it got to the point where I began to have self-doubt self and I no longer could think for myself because he was so in my head that when I would want to say something, I could hear him in the back of my head saying, are you sure that's what you want to say? Is that really what you mean? Right? So then it got so bad to where I didn't know how to get out. I didn't know how to get out. Because I obviously was no longer happy, right? But this man was just take, take, taking. And I was out. I had nothing more to give. Like, and so the fact that I no longer had my voice. Like, how terrible is that, right? To have such self-doubt that you're not even willing to t share your opinion, right? And... It wasn't even only with him that I couldn't speak. It was in general. Like, my friends would ask me, oh, how are you doing? Or whatever, right? And I would be like, oh, I'm good, you know? Because I didn't want to let anyone know how much I was suffering. I didn't know how to. Because check this out. The guy I was with, when I would go tell my friends what was going on, right? And my friends would give me the the say, like, dude, he's being mean, he's being this and that. Like, so encouraging me to stand up for myself, right? 
So then when I would go back to him and stand my ground or whatever, he would say, did you tell them my side of things or did you just tell them your side? Because if you just told them your side, what you're saying right now doesn't matter. So can you imagine? I felt like I had no voice. Like, what is the point of me even sharing anything with this kid if he's going to be constantly battling me into self-doubt you guys and nobody deserves that because i'm telling you right now i had to go see a psychologist thank goodness i was in college so it was covered mm. but i actually enjoyed it since that's my interest right so as i got to share what i was experiencing with my psychologist i also was studying how she functioned and how she would go about helping me through these things, right? And this is why, if you know me and you trust me with your stuff, you know that I cater to your core, okay? I learn about you and know your ins and outs to where you're like, well, how, how are you doing this, right? And it's simply to be able to take care of you or to help you Take note of things so that you know how to get in and out of situations, right? In case I'm not there. Um, so, I just want you guys to make sure you know how important your voice is. You're, you matter all the time. Not just, oh, um, when you're just with me. This is like saying if the guy, right? The guy says this, uh, you're around me. Yeah, you matter. But if you're, we're around our, my friends, you don't. No. News flash. Okay. You matter all the time. And if you are with someone who truly loves you to their core, their every move is going to have you in mind. Period. Drop the mic. Boom. Because if they cannot do that for you, then guess what? Say it with me. It's time to go. That's it. Because what are you doing hanging around someone that you're willing to do everything for them, but they're not willing to do the same for you? For what? Why would you waste your time? Your time is also very precious. And that's another thing I'm constantly emphasizing. How important it is for you guys to know your time is valuable. We're not going to... Tomorrow's not promised. Is what I tell you guys all the time too. Tomorrow is not promised. So whoever you surround yourself with is somebody that loves you for one. Two, brings light into your world. Right? Not dims you down. Not drags you down because they're miserable. It's time to let those people go. Because you don't need that. But you have to stand up for yourself in that sense to know you know what i'm worth more than what's going on right here i'm over here trying to move up better myself right yet these people want to knock you oh you're trying to be different or you're trying to change it's okay to change because we're going to be becoming better people and those who are on that same journey with you of wanting to better themselves, they're going to be with you. Trust and believe. And those are the people you want to have with you along your journey. And whoever's not on that boat with you, bye. No sweat off your back, right? You're not, you don't need to be carrying anyone. You don't. You need to prioritize you and that's it. Everything else will fall into place because you have to do for you. Because if you don't, no one else will. So it's very important. Never let anyone silence you, okay? Because you matter. You matter in every situation. Not sometimes. Not just a few out of a week. No, you matter every single day in every si single situation that you're in. You matter. How you feel inside matters. So you should share if you're uncomfortable, if you're not okay with something, even if it's the smallest thing. And I sit here and tell my cousin this all the time. 
because we do sometimes it's like the tiniest thing and we think why am i being this petty you know that this little thing is bothering me who cares it matters to you somehow so you need to express it and this is something i'm learning myself trust me trust me because i tend to just bottle things up and push and push and push and things just add 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 up and then bam i explode so i'm gonna be working on that too and i will share my journey with these things right um but we're in this together you guys okay so please know that you are very important and if you don't know that i need you to know that after watching this video if you have to watch this thing over and over so that you know that you're important and that your opinion feelings matter then i am right here with you to let you know that i'm your girl if you need to be boosted up cheered up lifted up i'm your girl just text me Whatever we do nowadays, swiping, whatever. <laughs> I'm just a DM away. You understand? So please, please don't forget that. That you matter and no one should ever silence you. No one in any situation. And that includes family, bruh. That includes family that want to say, you know what, what you, you're the child, I'm the doe, blah, blah, blah. All that whole shebang, um, no. You still matter no matter what. Because whatever age you're, you're at, things matter at different levels, right? So no matter what, you have to express how you feel. Don't keep things in. And then just work on how you present whatever is bothering you, right? Because you can't go in there talking about, oh my God, wilding, right? No, no, no. <laughs> you need to... Even if you have to take a step back and think, right, to kind of calm down and tell whoever you need to tell, hey, this is what it is. It's been on my mind. It's bothered me. I don't know how to go about, you know, telling you, but here it is. So if you can help me out, just hear me out, you know, then things will get better. That way you're not contemplating it and it's driving you nuts. Trust me, I've been there too often. And then you cause self-harm inside. Like you may not see it on the exterior, but your insides is not good for you to bottle things up. Okay. So we're on this journey together. We're going to make it happen so that we are heard. Okay. Because we matter. You matter. You back there. You matter. Okay. So please never forget that, you guys. And I hope this helps at least one person. It would mean the world to me. And I will keep these videos coming because this is really important. And I know we're just, this month is, you know, the mental health awareness month. But to me, mental health is year-round. It's very important. And I mean... We need to shed more light on it and make it a uh, what is it easier topic of conversation, right? Um, because it's important for our well being at any age. Okay, talking to all age groups, it's really important. So I will see you guys soon on my next video. I've been busy making stars, my doodles. Mm -hmm. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope this video finds you in great mind, body, and spirit. Bye.